All right, we've got one last example for this section. Uh, we're going to find the average rate of change for same function as the previous example um, over the interval we were given there as well as another interval. Now, uh, what do we mean by average rate of change? Well, we, we have this concept of displacement here, right? Um, so we, it's kind of the final position minus the initial. Well, you can, you can take that change in position and you can divide by the interval of time over which that change took place, and you'll have an average rate of change. You'll have essentially, if you, we want to think of this as position, we have like an average velocity, right? Um, and so, so the, the average um, rate of change is, is going to be um, R at sort of the final point minus r at the initial point, right, over the length of the interval. Right? So it's the, it's the displacement over the change in t. I bet you can guess what's going to be coming up in the next section, right? Pass from the average rate of change to the instantaneous, and what do we have then, right? It's kind of the obvious thing to do, and we're going to do it, but first, we got to do this example, okay? So for the uh, for the first interval minus one one, we know that uh, the displacement is sorry zero two. We know that delta t one subtract minus one is two. Um, So the average is going to be um, 1 over 2 times 0, 2, which is 0, 1. Okay? And if we were going to do this on minus 1 to 5, well, first we've got to calculate r of 5. So that's going to be cosine of 5 pi um, over 2 sine of 5 pi over 2. Um, but you know what? That's still 0, 1, right? 5 pi over 2 is, uh, is one full revolution plus a right angle. So we're back at the top of the circle, right? And so, so this time our average is going to be, well, the delta t changes, right? Now it's 5 minus minus 1, so it's 1 over 6 times, displacement is still 0, 2, right? Because the uh, final point is the same, the initial point is the same. Um, and so we, we, we have the same displacement, but over a longer time interval. Right? And so this time the average rate of change is less than it was before.